I open my remarks by expressing thanks to the IPU community through IPU president, uh, Mr. Duret Baiko and your executive team. I am Uang Jinyu, an elected MP from Myanmar and now serving as a chair of CRPH. I thank you, my parliamentary colleagues, for giving me a hearing at the Fifth World Speakers Conference gathered to discuss the leadership role of speakers in advancing and securing effective parliamentarism that deliver peace, sustainable development for the people and the planet. That leadership role is one I am exercising now is exile from the parliamentary precincts in Nebido, but not exile from the Myanmar people. Wherever we meet, wherever we act, we, the committee representing the Pidanzuto CRPH and all members of parliament, we do so with the legitimate and lawful mandate of the people of Myanmar. The people supported us with their votes in November 2020 election, and that support only strengthens each day the people have to endure the chaos that coup has brought to their lives. We all tasted what sustainable development could be working in the parliament to bring to life the surviving SDGs that all our nations represented here subscribe to and that you as a speaker are working through your parliaments to realize. In Myanmar, we as parliamentarians have a duty to act as peace builders. Given our country's military leaders had been at war with our ethnic nationalities people for over 70 years and have excluded them from governments and services. Affected parliamentarism seeks to build peace, settle conflict with wars, not weapons. It can bring peace and keep the peace. Our people crave peace, and it is their desire that drives us to secure the peace through a federal democratic union. We will you will know well the story of Myanmar's military coup and the continuing carnage, where the people's votes were treated with contempt, violating our election law and Article 21 of the UTHR that all nations adhere to. Myanmar's group leaders continue to arrest elected members of parliament and many more citizens. The people have resisted as one life in no other time in our history, and it's clear they will not abide it. It is a matter of time before parliamentary democracy is restored, but this time, with the full inclusions of Myanmar's ethnic nationalities people and other minority groups, the leadership role I am acting in is challenging, but being with you today provides such hope. That's what failed to convey just how much it means psychologically and practically. I wish to conclude with two humble considerations. The first is to have your parliament invite us, the CRPH and MBs, to have a parliament to parliament meeting with you. The second is if you can request your government as they come together in the United Nations General Assembly to advance peace and sustainable development, to continue the accreditations of our permanent representative ambassador, Ujo Moto. He continue to re represent our people and our nation, working to ensure that peace, stability, and security are restored to Myanmar. That is our goal and vision to be parliamentary peace builder. Thank you and thank you very much.